r slash ask reddit what are life's toughest mini games shoving your change cash receipt into your wallet before the next person goes which you can cheat and put it in a pocket but that unlocks the second mini game of can you get your keys bus pass out without spilling coins all over the ground like an shat. i hate this if a lot of people experience this then why do I still get daggers as I'm trying to put change back into my wallet? I'm going as fast as I can. When an oncoming person is walking towards you and you keep stepping to the same side. I always crack a half smile and say thanks for the dance. As I pass. I'd retort with Hannah Shaw thanks for the okay bye and then walk into the wall. Raise negotiations. OP asked for many games. This is a literal boss fight. Trying to get your dog cat off the carpet and onto a hard surface before they puke. Bonus round. It's in the middle of the night. Mission failed. Stepped on vomit with socks on. Adjusting a surprise boner in a public place without anyone seeing. Hold your breath when that happens your boner should be gone in 30 or more seconds. Instructions unclear. Held breath and blood pressure built until my thigh rattle expanded like a balloon and popped. Restringing a hoodie. Just burn it. No. Use it as the decor hoodie for your so so she steals that one instead of your good hoodie. To problem solve with one action. The how long can I fool them before they realize I don't remember their name game. I called someone Summer for half a year until they told me their name was Sheila. Keep calling them Summer. Removing a splinter from your finger with a needle. This game has too much haptic feedback. Always dig deep and tear it out fast. Holding a lot of things to the point where you are using your single weakest finger to hold onto a single item. Then you feel it get weaker, and weaker, as you run and slowly lower your hands lower so when it inevitably falls it doesn't break. Carrying all of your grocery bags inside on one trip really fits as a once a week scheduled mini game. Trying to open a bag of chips food snack without your dog hearing you. Children for hard mode. Checking out someone without being caught. Go to wonder how many times I've been caught and the woman just didn't react to it. For me the answer is every time. No reaction. Opening the impenetrable plastic clamshell packaging without a trip to the air. I got a new machete for Christmas. For camping backpacking. I was cut twice opening the packaging. One from the plastic. The other was the top point from the blade. Guess which was worse? The hospital bill. You have $50 to last 9 days. That all depends on whether I have a full tank of gas. Half tank. Possible. Big box of rice for 6 bucks. 10 cans of beans for 5 10. Depending on your store. Flavor with hot sauce and spices in collection. Meals accomplished. Waking up late and trying to speedrun your morning routine to get to work on time. I've personally never had a 100% run. Always something I forget or mess up. But the 5 minute snooze was so worth it. In my day to day life I have one that I struggle with every day. My fiance and I share a rental house with one bathroom. Her and I have completely cinched up poop cycles. It is weird. Like. It is down to a T. Eating out at restaurants is even hard because one of us needs to stay back to watch the purse coats. Whatever. My brain doesn't even seem to register sometimes that I have to poop until the second she heads to the bathroom. Not only that. But it just happens that each time is also an emergency. So what is my game? If I feel the slightest sensation to poo. Sprint towards the bathroom now. Then I hear her from the other room. You aren't going to the bathroom are you? Hell yes I am. And I won. Spread your legs a bit more than usual when you sit and she should be able to sit on your lap. Well that's enough reddit for today. Saying the right thing at the right time. If you attempt humor incorrectly, you lack tact. If you talk shop inappropriately, you are too boring. If you talk sports, you might be too stereotypical. If you don't play at all, you are aloof, awkward, or feeling superior. Small talk with a co-worker who won't shut the duck up. Uh huh okay take step back from co-worker. Haha <laughs> I see. I see take another step back as you turn your lower body away from your co-worker. Oh boy. That's funny at this point. Your torso is also initiating its turn away from your coworker. 
Your hair should be the only part of your body still directly facing your coworker. Haha <laughs> well nice chatting with you fully commit to the disengage by turning your head away from your coworker as you walk as far as you can. Minimizing your reddit facebook etc screen and time at work when someone walks by. Windows key plus D automatically minimizes any open window. Taking you to your desktop. Getting the USB in the right way with the fewest attempts possible. USB-C is the solution we all were waiting for. Yep, now you only need to turn it once. Figuring out the right thing to say to yourself. So. Yesterday I probably said like 4 wrong things, unbeknownst to me. Capture. Do I use caps of small letters? Is that a zero or a no? Those stupid lines make that one look like W. Drink just the right amount to have fun and cut loose without embarrassing yourself. Job interviews. Especially the tell me about yourself question. Ducking hell no matter how hard I practice I always stumble with that question. First morning pee with a hard on. Use a plate from the kitchen as a deflector. Getting all the shopping from the car to the house in one trip. Trying to control your bowels to quietly take a shit in a public bathroom. Or you can just go nuclear and let a rip. That can get awkward if you're at work though. Trying to decide where your significant other is willing to eat. Shaving without hurting my little friend. When you see one of those aiming target stickers on a urinal. Changing the duvet cover. I cannot fathom how, in the year of our lord 2018, I must crawl inside the ducking thing like an animal in order to get the damn corners to line up, and, no, duck off no your technique isn't any better, it's still a pain in the ass and you know it. Grabbing the keys from your pocket with the wrong hand. In before the does this make me look fat? No, really, I want your sincere opinion deathmatch. What to do with a fart when you're with other people or in a public space? Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cast you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.